fast enough was supposed to be 193 miles per hour, that was the top speed forecast offered when the 2017 BMW Alpina B7X Drive was launched at the 2016 Geneva Auto Show. That impressive number has since been revised. During testing on the 7.8-mile circular track in Nordo, Italy, the Michelin Pilot Super Sport tires worked so well that Alpina decided to raise the terminal velocity to a robust 205 miles per hour that puts the top of the line Alpina tuned Bimmer comfortably ahead of the competition from Mercedes AMG, Bentley, and Porsche. Starting at $137,995, the Alpina B7 stands at the top of the 7 Series lineup, at least until BMW's own M760i appears. But the Alpina offers a distinctly different character, the M760i will be powered by an updated version of BMW's twin-turbocharged V12, while the B7 employs a twin-turbo V8 based on the 750i's 4.4-liter and 63.8-cylinder. Alpina's designation for its version of the engine, confusingly, is M3, the car's name contains the suffix turbo in other markets. Alpina closely allied with Munich but still independent makes extensive modifications that include upgraded turbochargers, its own intake and intercooler setup, special Mayhill pistons, an Alpina dual-mode exhaust, and up to 20 pounds per square inch of boost, lifting maximum output from 445 to 600 horsepower. Peak to work is rated at 590 pounds to foot and available on a plateau that stretches from 3,000 to 5,000 revolutions per minute. Funny coincidence there, the M760i also will be rated at 600 horsepower and 590 pounds to foot of torque, but it will come with a 155 mile per hour governor, optionally increased to 190 miles per hour, just enough to top the Mercedes AMG S63 S 186 mile per hour governor. Alpina says the B7 accelerates to 60 miles per hour in 3.6 seconds, which may be as conservative as the original top speed forecast, a 2013 Alpina B7 we tested with a mere 560 horsepower ran to 60 miles per hour in 3.8 seconds, and we expect the new model to be about 200 pounds lighter. In the B7, to work is channeled to all four wheels via the well-proven ZF8 horsepower 8-speed automatic, albeit reprogrammed for quicker shifting. The BMW X-Drive system has been adjusted to deliver a decidedly more rear-biased to work distribution, fitting the dynamic character of this luxury performance sedan. This car is not just about straight-line performance it's also about agility and superior cornering. All-wheel steering is included, tuned more aggressively than in the regular 7 Series, and the ride height has been lowered, paying dividends in the looks department. The result of these enhancements, and of this fantastic power, is an almost surreal driving experience. The twin-turbocharged V8 reacts instantly, and its pull is relentless even as the car nears 200 miles per hour. Aerodynamic drag builds exponentially with speed, so it takes some time to stack the final dozen mile per hour onto the speedometer. Traffic prevented us from verifying the B7's 205 mile per hour terminal velocity when we drove it on its German home turf. However, we managed to touch an indicated 198 miles per hour on a relatively short stretch of unrestricted Bundestris. It is nearly impossible for other drivers to correctly judge the speed of an approaching V7. Extreme caution is advised, and it is good that this two-ton plastic silverage is fitted with extremely large brakes that exhibited not a hint of fade during our drive. Few other large sedans can go this fast or accelerate to such high speed so quickly. The high speed stability is virtually unmatched, thanks to the B7's long wheelbase and that all-wheel steering system, which turns the rear wheels in the same direction as the front wheels at higher velocities. As such, directional changes at this speed lose their fear factor. The deeper front fascia and the long rear spoiler, designed specifically for the B7, are said to significantly reduce lift, and the car indeed felt planned at all speeds.
Even though the B7 remains very much an upper luxury sedan, it delivers a noticeably more sporty driving experience than does the 750i. And that is true even if you don't exceed legal limits. The Alpina S exhaust has a far more pronounced prowl than the 750i S. The power steering is nicely weighted, on winding country roads, the B7 seems to shrink to the size of a 5 series. The car shoots out of corners briskly, lets the driver play with a bit of power over steam, and if you dare stay on the gas pedal hurls you toward the horizon with more flight thrust. There is plenty on which the eyes can feast, too. Inside, Alpina has enhanced the 7 Series cockpit with a number of exclusive accents. The steering wheel is graced by an Alpine logo, and the gears are selected via buttons placed on the back of the steering wheel. Alpino's Switchtronic is a company exclusive, and we found it works at least as well as the usual paddles, which are available by special request, to keep your hands on the wheel. Alternatively, you can pull back on the console-mounted shifter to upshift and push it forward to downshift, just as in a race car. One of the most prominent changes to the B7, and an Alpina first, is an instrument cluster with a specific Alpina look. Facilitated by its digital nature, the cluster changes with the driving modes. In comfort mode, the gauges are entirely blue, the sport modes add digital speed and selected gear information. Only the Eco Pro mode yes, it still there retains the original BMW design. Choosing Eco Pro feels counterintuitive in such an extremely fast vehicle, even though the European fuel economy figures 22. 6 miles per gallon and the ludicrously optimistic combined driving cycle suggests superior efficiency. Push hard and it's easy to consume fuel at twice that rate. An obligatory stop at a gas station gave us time to admire the B7's exterior. Beyond the 750i, the B7 is fitted with 20-inch Alpina Classic wheels, 21-inch pieces will be available, functional front and rear spoilers, and an impressive 4-tip stainless steel exhaust system. Only the Alpina offers the special colors Alpina Blue and Alpina Green too, as well as the set of silver or gold trim appliques that have distinguished Alpina models for almost 50 years. In the B7S German home market, many Alpina customers skip the decals and the rest of the badging, presenting their Alpinas as nothing more exceptional than a regular BMW. The lowered stance and wheels give it away, of course, but at 205 miles per hour it will pass by so quickly that few will ever know what the heck it was, with or without its identifiers. identifiers.